Hi everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Season 2, Episode 5, Cardassians. Good episode. This is a great episode. See, I feel like at this point, Deep Space Nine has already kind of started hitting its stride. Let's all be honest, The Next Generation was a little bit rough for the first two seasons. Because, I mean, it had been like 18 years since Star Trek had been on the air. Whereas this one, like season one wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. And they took a little bit to kind of figure out what they're doing. Episodes like this, they knew it. Like, they were on top of it. Uh, especially last episode, this episode. So for this one, we see the return of Garrick, uh, who we haven't seen since, I, I think it was the second episode of season one. So it's already interesting. He's one of my favorite characters. So it was fun to see him. Uh, we see Gold Ducat once again, which I, I've lost track. I think this is his fourth or fifth appearance. And so this episode kind of goes back to the Bajoran Cardassian politics, where a Bajoran male, father, whatever, comes on board and he has his Cardassian son with him. And it turns out when the Cardassian occupational um, left, retreated, they left some of their orphans. And the Bajorans basically, like, kind of grabbed them. Kind of, some, like, obviously threw them in, like, shelters or ignored them. But some of them adopted them. And this gentleman adopted this orphan. And it's it's interesting because, so we see uh, Garrick and he, like, goes to try to talk to him. And the kid bites him, which is kind of weird because he's, like, 13 or something. And that's, I don't know, it's weird. But anyways, and so we, uh, we... Cisco decides to kind of separate the, the father and the son for right now to, to kind of figure out what's going on. And he stays with the O'Briens. And it's really interesting because God bless Keiko. She is so sweet. And she's just trying to be like, oh, I found this Cardassian recipe and this and that. And she's trying to make him feel at home. And Chief O'Brien is basically a racist. Like, he's just like, oh, Cardassians are evil. Like, he's, he just says a bunch of ugly things, as Keiko puts it. And, like, he takes a bite of the Cardassian stew and pushes it away. And then the child um, does the same thing. Uh, Rugal, I think was his name. He, he takes a bite. Or I don't think he even takes a bite. I think he just pushes it away. Because this kid was raised on Bajor with a Bajoran family, he hates Cardassians. He doesn't see himself as a Cardassian. So this episode is very, like metaphorical for just different types of racism and bigotry that I mean we've seen in our own daily lives so it's really interesting and it kind of goes back to like the the three-part premiere where talking about some of the holocaust type stuff going on where uh Rugal says like over 10 million Bajorans were killed during this occupation and he just lays into these facts about why Cardassians are like the most evil species and how he doesn't want to go back he doesn't want to meet his family he's he wants to go home to Bajor with that family and so the doc uh, Dr. Bajir and Garrick like go down to Bajor to kind of learn about what's going on. Garrick reveals a little bit more about himself because now for a tailor, he knows all about computers and he knows how to fix them and he knows how to work on them. So once again, Garrick is not quite what he seems. And as they start to walk out, multiple kids start coming out of Cardassians and Bajorans in this orphanage. So we realize that when they pulled out of the occupation, they left a lot of kids just there. And Garrick even says if they, these kids had been returned to Cardassia, they would have no family because their society does not accept orphans the same way that we would think about it. So finally... Rugal's dad finds out that he's alive. They have this awkward meeting, and Cisco is basically voluntold to be the arborator to decide should he go with his dad, um, should Regal go with his dad and go back to Cardassia, or for the last eight years or whatever, he has been living on Bajor, and should he go back with his Bajoran family? So Gal Dukat arrives on the station, and I think this is the first time we've actually seen him in person, not through a communication. And he starts talking about how he was in charge of Terok Nor, which is Deep Space Nine. That's just the Cardassian name for it. And this is the part where it got way overcomplicated, at least to me, because it turns out that Gal Dukat purposely took Rugal and put him in the orphanage just for like a moment like this where they could reveal that this ambassador's like 
child is still alive and he'd lose his whole political career and it was just like political assassination and to me it got way over complicated i liked the like the, the first three quarters of this episode i thought were great because it was dealing with these complex issues and then it just ends up being gold ducat's big master plan and i was like no you lost me um, finally, I was I was honestly surprised. I thought that they were going to have him go back to Bajor because that's where he's lived. But Cisco is not the cat. The, he's no, he's not a captain. But he's not the character that we think. And like I personally, if this was a Picard episode, like if this was all on the Enterprise, I think Picard would have sent him back home with his adopted family. But Cisco doesn't. Cisco sends him back to Cardassia to learn about his roots because Rugal was basically kidnapped and put in this orphanage so he's returning him to his father to let the healing begin as he put i think it's the last line of the episode so overall i think this is a really good episode i really enjoyed this one so for those who have seen this one what do you guys think about these political type episodes what do you guys think about cisco's decision would you have sent him to bajor or would you have sent him to cardassia go ahead let me know in the comments below thank you guys for everything and i will see you guys next time for melora